on vacation tomorrow. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm finally. Well, I'm working, so. Yes, I'm not work, but it's a different atmosphere. Yeah. Fun. yeah. Go away from great. everything. Right. Our flight is at like what eight o'clock. Real early. The earliest of the early, but we are excited. We're already packed. We're ready to go. So it's gonna be great. So. Let's um, pray over these prayer requests really quick. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them below. If you have any praise reports, let us know because that's what keeps us going. And that's what makes it all worth it is hearing what God is doing in your life and how he has answered the, pray the prayers that we've been praying for. Everything that she's going. 
going through as far as time management goes that God you just help her adjust to the life balance that she's trying to figure out Lord and that as as you exalt her business that things slow down for her so she can just be with you Lord God and um, I pray all these things I pray for her business I pray for her life in Jesus name I lift up Katie to you and I ask for you to move in Jesus name I pray Amen. 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 I just really feel that this is a time where God is answering prayers and he has listened and he has answered and he has delivered but some of us just might be blinded about where we're at right now and what he has answered and it'll be because we're going through another struggle that we see as a struggle but it's an answer prayer and he and whatever answer prayer that he has answered he has equipped you to get through this this struggle that you're in right now so if you've been praying for strength and you've been praying for provision and you've been praying for this next step or this new job or this new opportunity or this new um, circumstance and you're in that new circumstance and you're there and you're like I can't handle this because I need help or it's too much you can handle it because he's answered the prayer and the reason you're there is because he answered your prayer right and he's not gonna bring you is it, is it making sense yeah yeah but it, and he's not gonna bring you into this season or this next chapter without equipping you so I just pray right now that whoever's dealing with this that if there's anyone in this circumstance or anyone in this situation that just doesn't feel that they're equipped or not enough to take Lord I just pray that those lies mm -hmm. just subside in the name of Jesus I pray right now for just provision I pray right now for continued peace for continued strength and continued guidance Lord that they don't turn back and refuse the blessing that you've right, given right. that they don't refuse the um, your blessing and move and and are blinded from what you have but rather they they are in your presence and they see that every step in every situation every part of their life is a blessing that you have answered in some um, fashion Lord so I just pray for this and I pray that it's just a, a touch for whoever is uh, watching and whoever is listening that it just spoke to someone and um, I just pray that that as we carry out for this weekend Lord that we can just be encouraged and just be thankful coming into this whole Thanksgiving week Lord that we can just be yeah. thankful for all the things whether it be small or whether it big we're just thankful for all the things you're doing and have done and what you're going to do in our life in Jesus name Amen, Amen. I like it I yeah. like it because you're kind of saying like you've been equipped for whatever he's calling you to you're right right and if you if you if you're feeling that like you're not, then that's the lie. That's the deception that is trying to keep you from doing all that God has created you to do. There is a purpose. There is a will. There is a destiny for your life, and you have everything it takes. And the right and the easiest thing to do in those circumstances is to revert back to yeah, your old yeah. ways and to be like, this is too hard. It's easier and, to go back. And the right. reason it's easier to go back is because that's what you're used to. Right. And it's one of those things where you're in. It Oh, 
replaced by the immortal. Then the saying will come true. Death swallowed up by triumphant life. Who got the last word? Oh, death. Oh, death, who's afraid of you now? It was sin that made death so frightening. The law, the code, the guilt, that grave sin, it's, it's leverage. It's destructive power. But now in a single victorious stroke of life, all three, sin, guilt, and death are gone. The gift of our master, Jesus Christ. Thank God. said that he was with us before we were in our mom's womb. So I know that you can hear from God. And it's as simple as just sitting and breathing in his presence. And if it's condemning or shame or guilt, that's not God. Mm. His voice is perfect and pure and it's love. So if you're hearing from God in a way that's, 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 I don't know, outside of what you're doing, then it's probably because his will is pointing you into a direction that you need to take. And yeah, it's going to make things easier. And he's going to shine light on, on things you're doing in your life that, that you should rethink, Mm -hmm. you know, and that's just going to be like the gentle encouragement. Like, Hey, that's really a good good idea right Right. now, you know, and it's not, but it's one of those things where he's not going to condemn you and it's it's guilt is off of you. But what he's going to do is he's going to help you through it and before you have to he sees the bigger picture i like what you said when um a couple it's probably months back but the the bear and the little girl he she he hides um a huge teddy bear no this is my favorite analogy or illustration that i want to use jesus is i think you've probably seen it on facebook but like jesus is standing there and he has um a huge teddy bear behind his back and he's holding this little one and the little girl is like 
but I want that one. Like, I love it. I want the little teddy bear. It's m like, it's mine. I want to keep that thing that you're asking me to like, to remove. And Jesus is like, but if you give it to me, something behind my back's even better. There's a reason that he's removing the things in your life that, that are not life giving, that they're life sucking. And you may think that they're, they're a good thing, but he is a better thing. So it's always, if, if God is asking you to remove something, if God is asking you to give something up, it's because there's something better on the other side of it. It is never to, to take life from you. God is always giving you things because he wants better for you. He wants abundance. He wants a life full of him. So it's never to hurt you. It's never to harm you. God is always trying to give you more. Mm -hmm. Always. So if the voice is the opposite of what I just said, then it's not God. And I hope you cling on to that. In Jesus' name, help this driver. <laughs> All right, well, we are at our location, so I love you guys so much. We are actually going on vacation starting tomorrow. We're flying out. So right now, um, we're going to make a huge announcement. <laughs> a huge announcement. We're not 100% on, but we're going to make it in faith that you guys are going to understand and just be with us. So here's what's going to happen. We are going to Illinois for a week, and we're going to take some time off we are going to unplug and we are going to just be for a week so i hope you guys understand but we're going to take a week off of facebook live unfortunately we won't be there for you for a week but if you have any prayer requests please message me i'll still have access to my facebook obviously but any praise praise reports we want to hear those too but we are not going to do facebook live next week so are we unplugging social media um We'll see. Love you guys a lot. If we, we unplug social media, we'll still have mess Facebook Messenger so we can get the prayer Yeah, yeah, requests. yeah. We'll do that. Yeah, if you need prayer but, for anything, we're still here for you. Ministry is a full-time job, and we're committed to it. But we are going to take a week off just and it, to recharge. It's one of those things so that we, we really encourage, and we've been encouraged through our mentors and everything that this is a good a good thing to do yeah and it's not something that we're doing selfishly um it's not something that we that we l really like to do because no, it's one it of those the hardest things, decision it's one of those things where it's like man how can we do this but it's one of those things that's a necessary yeah. and it's necessary not only in our, in our lives but it's necessary in your life so if you guys are feeling that you're in a funk or just you need guidance and you just need um, clarity on things this is when we do it the most is when we need clarity um, we did this even like when we were dating and mm -hmm. stuff when we needed to make decisions we would um, fast each other and I wouldn't talk to Jess and she wouldn't talk to me for a day or two or whatever it was and we would pray about whatever we were and then we'd come back and be like all right what do you think right and every time we did that we got the same response yeah. and it made a lot of our decisions easier that's how I knew to propose that's how we knew how to do um, a lot of things in our life um, but that's how we knew how to keep doing Facebook live. Yeah. Um, it was all through that stuff. And so we encourage it as well for you guys to, to do this in your, in your life. Um, and to just take a weekend, take a day where you just kind of let loose, decompress, unplug. unplug it is, it is worth just, like, it's worth it to unplug for a yeah. week because we're going into Thanksgiving and it, it, you're about to see a lot of family. And I know there's, um, I mean, specifically for me, there's a lot of heartbreak that comes around the holidays and it's because I've lost someone close to me that's in my family and is not going to be there. So I just, I pray over you that if you're, if you're going through this holiday and you're doing it alone, that you, you find the peace and the love that comes from God. And, um, so we are going to unplug for a week and we're just going to recharge. We're going to be, we're just going to be with our family. So I hope that you guys do the same thing and we'll be back Monday. It's the 27th, I think. November 27th. Yeah. We're going to stick to 7 a.m. because that's when I feel like works best for us yeah. and we're committed to 7 a.m. prayer. So we're taking a week off. Yeah. I love you guys a lot. And we but won't I, forget about you. Yeah. And we don't forget about you. Every right. day we pray for our friends, our families, and yeah. we pray for you guys. So we're going to continue to lift you guys up in prayer. If you guys need anything, I mean, obviously comment Text below. Me. Um, you know, do all that stuff. And when we get to it, we will pray for it and we will reach out to you to acknowledge that we have to. Um, but just have a great Thanksgiving guys. Just be thankful. Just stay in thankfulness for all that God has done, all that he's going to do and that you are in your current situation and circumstance 
for a reason yeah. and so just allow the process to happen I know those are hard words to hear and it's hard words to say because I'm saying it to myself and it's one of those things to where God has already equipped you for a time like now so just stay encouraged stay thankful we love each one every one of you guys and just have a great night see you guys in a week yes oh gosh <laughs>